makes absolutely no sense. And one might question, why would this Congress, why would this body give more money to the Department of Defense and this administration to continue to fire men and women in uniform? Why would we not attach to a continuing resolution or a funding bill in nine days a requirement that our men and women in uniform not be fired for taking a vaccine for a pandemic the president says is over? Six billion dollars, by the way, goes to Fauci's NIAID. Nine billion dollars goes to the CDC. Why are we funding this? Why are we funding an open border? Why are we funding $60 billion to the Department of Homeland Security, which is causing Americans to die from fentanyl, causing migrants to die on people's ranches, endangering the American people, allowing people known to be associated with terrorists into our country? At the same time, we're funding vaccine mandates to fire men and women in uniform when our recruiting levels are at all-time lows. It begs the question. But that's not the only problem. That's not the only thing we're dealing with. We're dealing with an energy crisis. We're dealing with the reality that energy prices are up. Why, is that, why would that be? A tsunami of shutoffs, the headlines say. 20 million U.S. homes are behind on energy bills. Federal oil leases slow to a trickle under Biden. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen warns gas prices could spike again this winter. We are decimating the ability of the American people to be able to fund their lives, heat their homes, drive their cars to work, all in the name of choosing to pursue unicorn energy policies which are destroying our country. My colleagues on the other side of the aisle in this administration are purposely driving up the cost of gas, purposely driving up the cost of electricity, purposely making our grid less reliable, all so they can pat themselves on the back for pursuing a green quote-unquote agenda that is doing nothing but empowering China making our country worse, and not doing a dang thing for CO2, by the way. Nothing. While China has 1,100 coal-fired plants and building one new coal-fired plant a week, we have 250, we're building zero. We're adding no new gas plants. We're adding no new nuclear plants to speak of. We're adding wind and solar, making our grid less reliable, reducing our ability to produce liquefied natural gas to the world, and we're decimating our strategic advantage, undermining the health and well-being of the American people so my Democratic colleagues can pursue a leftist radical agenda to appease their leftist base. The American people have had it. And here's another point. Why would we fund it? Why would we continue to fund a government that is doing that to the American people? I know my colleague cares a lot about energy policies from his home state, Pennsylvania. Yeah. 